Christian Mitchell, State Representative of the 26th District in the Illinois House of Representatives. So um, uh, I had an aunt who was wrongfully convicted uh, of a crime, sentenced to 25 to life, later exonerated about four years later, but it turned our lives completely upside down. All of the savings that my mother and grandfather had saved up for me to go to college went to her legal defense. And so what I learned was a lot of the stuff that had happened to me growing up was happening to a bunch of other people, some who looked like me, some who didn't. Um, and that if I wanted to make a difference, a really good way to do that was by getting involved with the people who write the rules, who write the laws. If I could work on setting the rules to make them more favorable to working people, that maybe I could make sure what happened to me growing up wouldn't happen to anybody else. And so that's the reason why I ended up getting into it. So two things. One, um, I was the first African-American co-sponsor on marriage equality. Being African-American myself, I know what it's like when um, laws are built in such a way that they end up excluding you from the full benefits of being an American. And I've also you know, introduced a plan to make college more affordable, which is good not just for the kids who are going to go and are going to end up going in industries, making money, being productive citizens, but for the communities where those universities can continue to thrive and be the hub of business growth in those areas. I'm very proud of doing that work this year. Three things that I've learned since becoming a state representative. Um, one, um, humor is incredibly important. Um, the ability to laugh at yourself, to say, well, that didn't work. Second, not to keep with an H theme, is humility. The truth is often that you might have an idea that someone else had before you, but it wasn't that, yeah, that, that idea is time. That you may, in fact, be you know, carrying forward. So, so there was a state rep who's a, a dear friend of mine who was the person who introduced marriage equality. He'd been introducing that bill for years and years and years on end. And finally, in 2013, it was time. I think the third thing is probably the importance of being authentic. Um, People, especially nowadays, with sort of 24-7 media, with, with a feeling that you can see into the lives of figures that you care about, whether they're political or business figures or celebrities, people want to know who you really are, what your core is, and, and why you do the things you do. And so I try my very best to be very honest and say, you know, hey, this is about what I saw my mother going through growing up, or what I saw my, my grandfather going through growing up, or some of the things that I experienced myself. Get involved, and by the way, get involved at the state and local level. Like everybody, sort of wants to go to Washington D.C. I get that, and and it's a it's a place where good things can happen. Where if you work hard, you can get ahead. Yes, but in state and local government, what's going to happen? And this happened to me. It was on the ground experience. I was doing work that otherwise might not have happened until my fourth, fifth, sixth year working on staff in Washington, D.C., and it made me better. So get involved with state and local elected officials. Get involved in local politics, local clinics, uh, local community organizations. Those are the places you're going to touch the most people and, by the way, have the most formative and advanced experiences that will make you better if indeed you want to practice public policy.